Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley, my blood work 2020. Well, every year I go out and get my blood work just to prove that, um, you know, what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm living a healthy lifestyle and the things that I'm doing actually lead to health because, you know, the blood does not hide anything and it doesn't lie and it always gives you the, the full story. So once you see the blood, and this is why you're going to the doctor's office, you go to the medical establishment for anything, they want blood. Blood, blood, blood. They want to look at this blood because they can run all these tests. They got all these sophisticated tests. It's really quite amazing what they can find out. But anyway, I have to go every year, and I get because and I get my physical, which always turns out perfect. And the guy, uh, doctor, Doctor Holzai, he asks me every time. He says, "You're still on the vegan diet? And I'm still on the vegan diet? Okay, very good." And uh, they tried to keep, put me on medicate uh, blood blood pressure medication a few years ago. I just did some exercises and it came right down and then I developed a uh, blood pressure uh, formula with um, some natural herbs and it works great. You don't need any of those medications folks. But anyway, and you got to remember what blood work is on this particular day was just it's a snapshot uh, of that morning when I went to have this done. So you're going to find things maybe just a little tiny bit of, out of the range, you know, because it's just one day. Um, if you could look at that really consistently in every single day and run the blood work, now you'd really get this moving average. But if you see something way out of the range, really, really high or really, really low, and then you come back two weeks later, a month or something like that, and it's still really, really high or really, really low, you got a problem. You know, your, the, your, your blood is telling the world there's a problem here. You're going to see I'm really in the range at all times. Here is a CBC with deferential. So that one is, that's your blood cells. You got red blood cells, white blood cells. So that's your immune system again. That one's perfect. Well, EGFR, that's your kidneys. Uh, that's perfect. Your ferritin, okay, iron. Well, ferritin is iron, came back. It's right in the range, fine. Uh, folate, B9, I always like to have all my B vitamins run. Um, and that turned out great. Uh, the iron um, and uh, you know the details on that and everything that's called uh, TIBC that came in within range lipid panel that was perfect uh, the cholesterol was like a 201 so you know they hit me in a high but 201 you know I used to be able to have cholesterol you know way up to like 250 that ever said anything then they lowered it but anyway my triglycerides are perfect so my lipid panel was perfect and uh, PSA, you know, I got a, a, just a one. So if you get anywhere near four, the concern, uh, your PSA, that's your prostate. Uh, only men have a prostate, and prostate cancer is extremely, um, you know, you know, very, very, very important. It's like it's our sex gland, and you know, it gets inflamed because of usage throughout the years. Many, and then people, it closes off the urinary tract, and people have to men, not women, have to go to the bathroom ten times a night. Now, this is why I made a video on that recently about how we reduce that inflammation. But the prostate, very susceptible to cancer, so keep an eye on that one. Mine's perfect. Um, then you've got uh, T A T S H. that's your thyroid. Came back perfect within range. Um, the ones I like to talk about the most, of course, vitamin D, D2 or D3, there came back well within the range, just perfect. I don't usually supplement during the year. I do, we're in Michigan, so it gets really a very limited sun. And uh, so I, I might take a little vitamin D. There's nothing wrong with taking a supplementing with that. I supplement with vitamin C all the time. I think that's great stuff. So, you know, supplements, I don't think people really understand a supplement. I understand what it's there for. It's so hard to get everything you need in your diet and uh, you know and live such a great lifestyle and get all the C you're supposed to have and all the D and all this kind of stuff it's just very difficult so it's just a lot easier to supplement sometimes so I'm big into supplementing people who supplement will be called pill poppers sometimes um, now when you take a pill to take care of a medical condition like high blood pressure or something like that and uh, and it goes well. That's pill popping. Okay. Well, you what you can't do is pop, pill pop your way to health. You have to change your diet. That's for sure. So um, the next one we got is vitamin B6. Well, vitamin B6 off the charts, absolutely off the charts. Now vitamin B6, that's your brain vitamin. And I'm always accused of um, you know well you're vegan. 
and you can't get your B vitamins. You got to get those from the the animal world. It's the only place you're going to get it. Is um, is you know meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. I don't eat any of those, and yet I have all my B vitamins. Actually, I get those from probiotics, the friendly bacteria. That'll give you all your B vitamins, and then spirulina and chlorella, which they tell you for sure this is the wrong version, the analog version. You'll never never get it, and yet my Bs are very very high. So B6, the brain one, high off the charts, and then you'll see B12, and that's the one that's really Really never supposed to be able to get that one. Uh, that one's way off the charts, and uh, gee, I don't know where it's coming from other than spirulina, chlorella, and I take a lot of probiotics. I'm big into digestive health. This is really the most important thing. All disease comes from your digestion, so you really got to keep that digestive tract clean. So I take probiotics every single day, and it does produce a lot of B vitamins, and so. I always have um, my very high, you know, folate, uh, B9, B6, B12, and if I ran all my Bs, they would be great. Um, you know, they would be in the high levels. I guarantee it. B12 is the one you can never get up. Uh, you know, to a substantial level, especially if you're a vegetarian or vegan, you can't do that. So, you know, and B, you know, low B12 is very serious. There's no doubt about it. I, it'll lead to blindness. Uh, you know, it's really problem, big problems. Um, but just because you're a meat eater doesn't mean you're going to be getting enough. You should have that check from time to time. When you go in and get your blood work done, make sure they run all your vitamins. They should do that. Um, if it costs a little more, it does. Um, I don't know with health insurance these days. Who knows? But I always have all my vitamins run. I want every bit of information I can possibly get about where I stand with my health. So there's my blood work for for 2020. We're in 2021 now, but uh, you know because of all the the virus stuff going around and everything, it was delayed uh, for months and months and months. But I got it in in great health again. Uh, high blood pressure was perfect. Uh, you know, it was right in the range. I would think I was, uh, you know, 80, 85, uh, over 130, 125, somewhere in there. So right in the range, I mean, you know, they want to put you exactly in this perfect range. And then if you're not, oh my gosh, they pull out their pills and try to turn you into a pill popper. And we don't want that. Uh, I do believe it's okay to supplement, but I don't think it's okay to pill pop because you cannot pill pop your way to health and you can't supplement your way to health either. It has to be from a diet. The reason I'm as healthy as I am is I drink a lot of water and I live on a, on a, a diet of raw fruits and vegetables. That's like, you know, 95% of what I eat, 98% of what I eat is raw fruits and vegetables. Been doing that for 20 years now. And it's at 63, it leaves me in pretty good health. Still running, uh, you know, six minute mile. I mean, if you push me out there right now, I'm sure I could do a 630. Dr. Bob, get your blood work done and see where you stand. I'll see you guys next time.